I'm coming up now, dear. Do you want me to bring you anything? No. You all right? Uh -huh. What is it? What's the matter? Get a doctor. No, no, not that. Get a doctor, another doctor, not Graham. But I have to, dear. He is your doctor. Don't argue with me. Don't call Graham. Get another doctor. a long time to get here, Annie. Oh, I know it seems like it, but he came just as soon as I called him. How long did it take? About 20 minutes. Fortunately, Ellen caught me as I was leaving on another call. Yes. Is there some alcohol in the bathroom? Yes, sir. 20 minutes. I got that pain over 45 minutes ago. Why did you delay it? I didn't, dear. I, I lost a lot of time trying to get another doctor. But you needed him so badly, I had to you go. You know best. You always know best nowadays, don't you, Ellen? No, no, it isn't that. I I just knew that he'd come sooner than anyone else. He's our friend, George. Come us better already. Ready, let's not kid each other. We both know where I stand. My own insurance company wouldn't put a nickel on me. Now look here. All of us in that same boat. Automobile taking an unexpected turn. A brick falling from a high building. A heart condition like yours. They're all hazards, but that doesn't necessarily mean they'll ever happen. Think of all the chances you took during the war. You didn't worry about them. Came out feeling better when you went in. Now, the only thing you have to do is lie here in bed and let us help you get well. Isn't that right, Ellen? Yes, that's what I keep telling him. You're lucky in many ways, George. You have a wonderful wife. She's developed into a fine nurse. I don't think I'll be tying up her exclusive services much longer. Now, you've got to cut out this way of thinking. Yeah, I know, I know. Would you mind, Ellen? Uh, I'd like to talk to George alone. No, not of course not. I'll, uh, I'll be across the hall if you need me. Those were pretty morbid things you were saying in front of Ellen. Has she complained? Certainly not. But you got to think of her, too. She's looking a little worn. Now, when you get these ideas, try using a little mental therapy. Next, you'll be telling me I ought to see a psychiatrist. Might be a very good idea. You doctors are all alike. You can't cure a patient, you tell him it's all in his mind. I'm trying to help you, George. You know that. I'll drop in again this afternoon. Maybe we can talk this thing out. Yeah, maybe we can. Did anything particular happen to upset George this morning? No, not that I know of. Why, do you think he's worse? Frankly, I, I don't like his mental state. Well, I think maybe it's just the hot weather. It depresses him. He's been a very active man. It's natural for him to be depressed, but... Yes. When a man's at a low ebb mentally and physically, he's prone to all sorts of imaginary fears. Yes, I know. I'd feel better if he were in the hospital for a while. No. no. No, I don't think so. Well, you want what's best for George, don't you? Well, of course, that's just it. I think it would upset him terribly. You see, he doesn't seem to want anyone else around him except me. Well, this morning, he didn't even want me to call you. Oh, it isn't that he's disloyal, Ran, or has lost confidence, but... Lately, he seems to have taken his sudden dislikes to people. Look, Ellen. Yes. You and George aren't just patients, you're friends. George is up there brooding and I don't like it. 
could develop into something serious. If you won't send him to the hospital, I want you to have someone here to help you. I'm sure you know what's best, Rand, but honestly, I don't know how George will take it. Well, he doesn't even seem to want his aunt around anymore. Ellen, I don't think it's wise for you to try to handle this alone any longer. You're stressed to the breaking point already. I'll take it up with George this afternoon. All right. I'd better get back upstairs. No, Ellen. Let him relax for a while. Oh, all right. Give the medicine a chance to work. Yeah. I want you to relax, too. Remember now, you could call me anytime you need me, even if you just think you need me. Oh, thanks. I don't know what I'd do sometimes if I didn't remember that. Goodbye. Goodbye. You're doing fine. <laughs> thanks. Stand where you are. Don't move. Oh, you frightened me. Did I? Yeah. Say, what are you all dressed up for? And where did you get that beautiful new tricycle? It's my tricycle. It's a horse. Oh? A palomino. My grandpa gave it to me. Oh, he did? Well, it's beautiful, Billy. I'm not Billy. I'm Hoppy. Hoppy? Now, who's Hoppy? Don't you know who Hoppy is? No, I'm afraid don't I don't. Don't you have television? What? Don't you have television? No. Want to see mine? Sure. Look inside. Well, look at that. See? Hoppy's there, too. Just like in a real college. Why, of course, I know him. That's Hopalong Cassidy. Uh -huh. Well, save many people today, Hoppy. Oh, six to a hundred. Don't try any tricks now. Oh, I wouldn't think of it. Do you have any cookies? No, I haven't. See, the groceryman hasn't come yet, but I will have later. You know what I do with the bad men? No, what do you do? I dynamite them into little pieces, shot them, put them in jail. Oh, I don't think the real Hoppy would treat even bad men that way. Well, really what I did was lasso them, tie them up, throw them in jail. Well, that sounds like a lot more work and more dangerous, too. Yeah, take care of you, didn't I? Yeah, you sure did. Can I come in? Oh, well, honey, I I'm sorry, I'm afraid not. My husband isn't feeling very well today. See? I won't make any noise. If I was eating cookies, I couldn't even talk. Uh, no, you couldn't. Well, I'll tell you what you do. After the groceryman comes, that'll be around 12 o'clock, see? You come to the back door very quietly, and I'll have some cookies for you. Okay? Okay. I'll ride my horse up and down and see that no bad people make any noise. Because I'm your friend, aren't I? That's right, Hoppy. You're my friend. Boop, boop. I have an engine, I have an engine, I'm gonna beat that car in the crossing. Choo choo, choo choo, choo choo, choo choo. Well, George, you weren't out of bed just now, were you? No. Oh, it must be the heat. I could have sworn I saw what somebody took you right... so long? What, dear? It took you so long. Sorry, dear, I was talking to Billy. I should say Hoppy. Let me change your pillow. You know, he's the little boy I told you about who just moved into the neighborhood. The one with the glasses, you know. Oh, he's an awful sweet little kid. What were you talking to Rennie Graham about? That's what I'm interested in. We were talking about you, dear. He uh, thinks you worry too much about yourself. I didn't. I don't know who would. George, ever since you got out of bed yesterday to see if you could walk, I've had it on my mind. I want you to promise me not to get out of bed again while I'm out of the room. All right, Ellen. Did you... Call the druggist about getting the heart prescription filled? Yes, dear. He said he'd send it up later in the day. But there's enough there if we need it before. Did you tell him I'd spilled it? No, I didn't. Uh, do you feel well enough for the paper? Yeah. Editorial page? No, just the front page is all right, thank you. Here you, are, dear. you look tired, Ellen. Oh, I'm not. Just that it's so hot today. 
What are you thinking about, Ellen? Well, you know, I, w I was just thinking that everything in our lives, every breath, every thought has been for ourselves. I don't think people can do that and be happy. Do you? You're getting a little confused, darling. It was me that Rennie Graham told to change my way of thinking. Oh, no, no. I mean, it was my fault, too. I... I just wasn't strong enough to help you. But we could change all that now. Ellen. Couldn't make all the difference in the world, George. Come here, Ellen. Yes? What's the first thing you do? When? When I'm out of this bed again, away from the house. Just be so grateful that you're well. I think I'd try to do something to somebody. I mean you. For your own self. Oh. I'd like children. Yeah. Yes. And then I'd like a garden. A real garden. Like the woman next door has. And I'd find out about flowers and things. And I'd compare notes with every other woman on the block. So you'd have a garden and children, huh? Isn't it good to plan again? Kind of gives you something to hold on to, doesn't it? Oh, my, it takes a long time for things to sink in, doesn't it? But you always said that, George. You always said, make a plan for everything and then stick to it. All right. All right, our plan now is for you to get well. And then after. You must think I'm very stupid. Stupid? Don't you think I know you're in love with him? In love with whom? Graham. That's the silliest thing I ever heard of you. You're not as subtle as you think you are, Ellen. It's quite obvious. First I thought it was just an infatuation, but now I realize it's more serious. Serious to the point where my life is more in danger from your heart than mine. George, what are you talking about? I almost feel sorry for you, Ellen. He overrated you, Ellen, just as he underrated me. You haven't the courage or the intelligence he thinks you have. Please don't talk like... Do you suppose I don't know he told you to rake over these old coals this morning? No, dear, he didn't. You convinced I... me I was a failure by making me impossible promises. I know something about my own sickness. I know what happens George. to a man when you take away your self-respect. I, I know, know what that. happens when you constantly upset George, me. George, this is wrong. I know it is. Please don't upset yourself anymore. Please. Yeah, that's what he told you to do, isn't it? Did no. he also tell you to delay getting help to me like you did this morning? How could you do that, Ellen? How could you take a man of second-rate intelligence George, like dear, we'll do anything you say. I'll get another doctor. You didn't know what you were letting yourself in for, did you, Ellen? Please don't talk anymore. Rest. Rest. Oh, George, you just couldn't believe those things you've said about Dr. Gray. I don't even want to hear his name. 